Well, folks, you know that saying, timing is everything. Uh, well, there used to be a time when you can watch a basketball game, right? There used to be a time when you can uh, go to someone's house and hang out. But it seems like maybe those days are over. And uh, that sounds like it's like, okay, Tony, settle down. Everything's going to go back to normal, right? <clears throat> the thing that I've been noticing is... Is that people have been... People have become so scared of... Getting sick... Getting sick in the future... Uh, scared about a future pandemic... Scared about a future anything... That... It's... You know, crazy theories and wild thoughts used to be a thing of um, the outsiders, you know, not the social norm. You know, people with wild conspiracy theories and people with wild thoughts and different ideas, they're usually kind of like out somewhere, you know. But that sort of uh, mindset has been completely taken over by everyone now so it seems like people you know because people say like what's going to happen when things open up again and uh i just heard so many people say well i'm not going to go over to your house i'm not going to hang out with you in person and i, I it's weird because there is a part of you that thinks, oh, eventually things will just go back to normal. It's not a big deal. But here's the difference. When I say timing is everything. So <clears throat> with music, people always say timing is everything. Why did that band make it that, oh, it was just a perfect time for that kind of music to be out, right? So now how is this a, with a pandemic and how is this with like what we're going through? Well, you know... People talk about like, oh, this, this is nothing. You know, there was like the Spanish flu and that was way worse and things went back to normal. Well, here's a difference. This is, it's like a really big difference. There's usually always a perfect time for something to finally hit the mainstream. Now, what am I talking about when I say timing is everything? Because it's all leading to something. I know I've just been rambling and mumbling for the past four minutes, but... What is this thing that's been waiting to finally hit the mainstream that's only been for nerds and computer people? Virtual reality, VR, AR, all this kind of stuff. You know, VR has been around. When I was a kid, those dorky headsets that people use for VR, they've been around since I was a little kid. Okay, it's nothing new, you know? All these uh, Oculus Rift and all this, that shit has been around forever. Maybe it's better now, but the whole idea, it's still this giant dorky headset that you put on. And you look like an idiot in it, right? Uh, so that was, that VR world has always been outside of the social norm. It's been just basically for, you know, computer type people, uh, you know, uh, it's never been mainstream. Like your grandma's not doing VR. But guess what? Your grandma's going to start doing VR. That's what I talk about when I say timing is everything. I think with this whole pandemic, it's going to give a perfect timing for VR to finally hit the mainstream. So it's not just like nerds who use it. It's your grandma, your mother, your dad, people who would have no interest in this shit right before the pandemic if you asked your grandma to try on a vr set she would piss on you now that sounds aggressive maybe your mom's not into that or your grandma that's offensive but you know what i'm talking about she wouldn't have time for that crap she wouldn't even listen to, she wouldn't even let you finish your sentence oh grandma you want to put on this vr goggle ah, shut the hell up but now she's like yes give it to me why because people are trying to be 
safe, try to practice social distancing. And what's better than to introduce VR to the mainstream now? This is the time. And I think there's two options. Either one, <laughs> everything just goes back to normal. But the reason I'm getting skeptical of everything going back to normal is because I've talked to so many people and I've heard so many people talking online that, oh no, even when, th when things go back to normal, even if they open up everything and we're free, people are paranoid and they're scared to go to someone's house to be around people. I'm not, well, you think I'm just going to go hang out in your living room? Are you fucking crazy? So everyone's scared to hang out in, in other people's houses and their living rooms. This is it. This is the time for VR to finally hit the mainstream where your grandma's using it, right? And it's so interesting because those dorky goddamn goggles, those VR goggles, have been around for so long. And I've always laughed at it going, this is just so ridiculous. No one wants to put on these giant fucking goggles on your head because you look like an idiot. Nobody wants to do that other than complete computer nerds, right? But now your grandma's going to do it and your dad's going to do it and you're going to do it and everyone's going to do it. And it's going to hit the mainstream because people are scared to be around each other. So this future world we're always wondering about, you know, what is it going to look like? Well, it seems like, again, timing is everything. This pandemic has made us literally just fast forward into the future so from now on maybe that old-fashioned way of going to each other's house is gone maybe the only way people hang out now is in a virtual space now again this virtual space for the computer nerds it's been around for a long time this is not not nothing mystical or wondrous the virtual world has been around for a very long time so computer type people they understand the virtual world your grandma and your mom doesn't. If you tell them, hey, have you ever been into the virtual world? They will piss on you. Your grandma and your mom will piss on you at the same time. And that is not something I'm into. But they will because it's too annoying. Somebody who's not into the computer world, if you start talking to them about the virtual world, they will want to hurt you because it's annoying. But now they're going to love it. See, because it's safe. Social distancing, it's going to be great. So that's how it's going to enter the mainstream. If you own VR stock right now, you should be giggling in ecstasy. If you own a VR company right now, you should be giggling in ecstasy. This is, this is the time that it's going to get pushed through. In fact, if you own a VR company right now, you should be posting ads every day about this. This is the time that it's going to hit the mainstream because Everyone is scared to be around each other. So what's going to happen? What is this new future? We're just going to hang out in VR world. You know, uh, there, if there's a family gathering, before everyone would just drive to a person's house and they all hang out in a crowded living room. There's like a whole bunch of people. Now they're all just going to stay home, put on their VR goggles and hang out in a virtual space. That is the future. It will see the thing is, it was always going to be the future. The only question was, when is it going to finally hit the mainstream? Because like I said, even now, even though I know those VR goggles have gotten better, it, they were still basically just for nerds. Okay? No one was really interested in them. Nobody wants to put on those stupid goggles. But now, everyone's going to do it. And it's so interesting to see. Because I've always wondered... When is that going to finally hit the mainstream? Because I, I just, I can never picture regular people just putting on those goggles and just hanging out. Because regular people want to go outside and get some sun. But the future is going to be VR goggles and downing vitamin D pills. Like, oh, it'll probably, it'll probably be an IV drip of vitamin D. And the VR goggles. So, that's the future. Unless... Everything just goes back to normal. Listen, anything's possible. But from the word on the street, it seems like everyone's paranoid and scared of being around anyone, even when things open up. So that's probably it, you know? 
I think that right now VR is going to hit the mainstream. Your grandma's going to love it. Your mother's going to love it. Everybody's going to love it. They're going to be hooked up. You got to get vitamin D drip. They're going to hang out on a virtual space and that's it. What else can I say? Maybe they're going to start playing basketball games in the VR world too. Who the hell knows? Nobody knows. I don't know. But that's it. Have a good day. Bye.